Well, we sold our car, which was a big deal. It was kind of our first step toward making this whole dream a reality. Well, this is the end of it. We sell the car today. It's all cleaned out. It was a big deal to sell our car because we had only bought the car six months prior to selling it, which was kind of a bummer. We had decided to actually do uh, this thing that we had been talking about for a long time, getting a trailer and living more intentionally. And so that was kind of crazy because the car was only six months old. And so we still owed on it. We had a, you know, a car loan. So we thought it was gonna be a big deal to sell the car because I had never sold a car that I owed a fair amount of money on. And I thought, oh, were we even gonna get as much out of the car? Can we sell it for what our payoff amount for the loan is? So we learned a couple of things through this process that I'll share with you here. The first was that, luckily for us, I guess, we had bought the car for a really, really good price. We got a great deal on it and we'd put some money down on the car. So our loan amount was a little bit less than the car's value, which was great. And because we had bought it and sold it within six months, the car still had pretty low miles on it. Uh, we didn't buy it you knew it was used, but still had low miles. So we were able to sell the car for a little bit over what our payoff was, which was awesome. Now I thought selling a car that you still owed on was gonna be a huge deal because of the DMV side and the payoff. Like how do you, like do they, did the person buying the car give you cash? And then you're like, okay, walk with me to the bank and I'll pay off the loan so that you can see that I'm actually putting this money toward the loan and not just pocketing it. And like, how do you get the DMV, like the, I was gonna say the pink slip, but that's a different slip entirely. Well, it turns out it's extremely simple, at least the way that it went down for us. The person who bought the car was financing it also with a personal loan through her credit union. And so I went with her to her credit union and all we had to do is sign a couple pieces of paper and the credit union took care of everything. Like literally, that's all I had to do. They sent the, the check to our loan company and took care of all the DMV paperwork. We we're like done. We went to the bank and signed like three pieces of paper. It was so easy. So if you're selling a car that you still owe on, do it that way. Find a buyer who has a loan already. Uh, Cause I don't know how to do it otherwise. It seems like kind of a pain. Maybe it's not. Maybe this isn't helpful to you at all. Second thing we learn is that, um, well, before I get to that, we had uh, decided that having a car loan is loads of fun. So after we sold our car and we're like, we don't have a car payment. We thought, man, I miss having a car payment. So we went out and bought our trailer pulling car, which is actually probably going to be another post. That was, that was a, we learned a ton about what you need for a trailer pulling kind of car. Uh, we got an SUV, not a real car, but whatever. But the other thing we learned is that when you take that first big step toward achieving whatever your goal is, um, it's amazing how much farther along you feel after you've achieved that milestone, you know, especially a big one. Like for us, selling the car was the first real big step of kind of jumping into the deep end of the pool, if you will, which is an expression that has actually been around for a while. But um, it felt like it was kind of scary because we're selling our car, we loved that car, and parting with it was like, kind of saying we're, we're really serious about this, we're actually going to do it. And it took a lot of work, um, really. So once we did that though, we felt like we made up so much ground toward our goal and really got us excited. Everything else seems like pretty easy from here on out. It won't be, I know that, but it seems that way. So I would say, if you have this kind of dream out there, something that's kind of a big deal, uh, try to get that first big milestone checked off as quick as you can, because once you do that, it becomes serious in your mind anyway. It's like, I'm actually going to pursue this kind of, kind of like, uh, sort of like there's no turning back at this point. We're just gonna go for it. And that's the end of this post. Ugh.